Hi Aquarius, welcome guys to your weekly reading. So we're gonna do what is one of my uh, my favorite types of readings and I do it for myself all the time. And um, I think it's a good time to do it because I think it's, uh, it's very relevant to our world right now. I'm gonna do a release and receive. So we're gonna see what, what you should be releasing right now, what would be beneficial to you perhaps to be releasing and um, what you could get ready to receive. Particularly if you're doing that, I usually find the release and the receiver connected. So if you do release this, it does give you the opportunity to receive this energy that's coming in. So let's see, we're gonna get started with one of my favorite decks, my Energy Oracle deck. Oh my gosh, this is all about chakras, Aqua. <laughs> okay, so the bottom is the first chakra. This is the base of everything. So this is, to me, this is the reason for the reading, almost. It's um, the catalyst, it's the reason. It's this base chakra. I'll get into that in a minute. Wait till you see what you pulled for release and receive. This is fascinating. The release is the seventh chakra. <laughs> okay, that's like being divinely guided. Letting divine guide you. Letting me guide you. Just stop the video, don't watch anymore. Bye. No, like, it's kind of, but we'll get into it more. We'll get into it more. Like, to give you an example how this can be read, can be read in different ways. I was doing for myself um, a couple days ago, and my release was the journey. And it's like, well, you're releasing your journey. No, it was to release to the journey. So it kind of depends how this goes. I'm not sure yet with you. It's interesting. You receive is beautiful. You receive is the fourth chakra. Opening up your fourth chakra, love. Feeling love, being love. But we're discussing this because of the base chakra. That's like what's here right now. This is so interesting. I'm going to be pulling more cards. It kind of seems like to me, what I'm getting here is that we need to get your base chakra balanced. The base needs to be balanced. That base chakra, that first chakra needs to be balanced. One of the easiest ways to do that is earthing. It's like literally just standing out in the grass or somewhere in your bare feet, like just connecting with earth like grounding yourself. And you know, being Aquarius, being an air sign, this is something that is very natural for you. Very, very natural state, I wanna say for Aquarius, is what you're being asked to release. So maybe this is so developed, it's time to release that a little bit and ground yourself. It's time to ground yourself. And there can be things that happen, like you can sometimes actually feel a little bit detached from your world around you if your base chakra, if your first chakra is not activated and grounded. So you may be feeling a little detached from situations and places. Your dreams may be, um, they may be like really all over the place. Uh, if they were easy to remember in the past, maybe they're not now and you're kind of like, I wonder why, why is that going on? Or if your dreams were not easy to remember in the past, they are now, but almost like too much information. Because, you know what? Because you need to get grounded. I want to say, like, there's love. There's love for you. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to do the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck. And then I'm going to do the Wild Unknown Animal Tarot deck. shuffle out the cards I'm going to pull these out put them down and then I'm going to do the tarot deck and then I'm going to show you everything and give you the reason okay Gives me 
time to think about it too and pulling the messages, right? I'll tell you, what I am seeing is that you're ready to receive love. Wherever you're being or have been divinely guided towards, the time is coming. Whatever was blocking this in the past is being cleared. Every single split, the Two of Cups has been there, and now we have the Fool. I, this keeps changing into also the Two of Cups, the Two of the Cups is not there. In the splits, the two is still there at the bottom. That's crazy. That happened when I did my own reading for myself. I always split into three and it forced into four and yours just did that. Isn't that so weird? Wow, yeah, you are so ready. Oh my gosh. This is cool. Oh, wow. You're so ready for this love. Okay. Um, I'll show you quick what you got. And then I'm just going to tell you the story. So the release. You're releasing uh, your um, crown chakra and the frog energy. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you. <laughs> the cards that you got with that. This is such an interesting message. Um, you got the three of wands, the six of swords, and the Mother of Cups, which is like the Queen of Cups. You receive, you got the fourth chakra and you got the Vulture energy. One of my favorite cards, the Vulture. The Vulture is there to guarantee that this new beginning is perfect. Well, at least that there's nothing from the past, any past energies that really should not have any influence on this new beginning. They're not there to affect it. <coughs> <coughs> And then the tarot cards that you got for it were the Son of Pentacles. Uh, the Son of Pentacles is a little bit like a cross between, I want to, I combine them with the uh, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, the Moon and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting how you got the two threes, right? It's the Three of Wands and the release, all that energy that's uh, sitting there. Some sort of collaborative energy with you and someone else. It's just, it's sitting, it, it's not doing anything. It's, it's not. It's not dying, it's not going away, it's just waiting. And then look at how it becomes dynamic. The energy start, the colors come out and they move around. The underlying is butterfly. This is a rebirth. This is a very big rebirth. And the mother of wands. We had the queen of, um, the mother of cups as well. So, this is what I've got here. This is what you're releasing. What you're being asked to release too. It's really what you're being asked to release. It's kind of up to you what you want to do with it, right? It's just a reading and you have to choose what you want to do. What you want to take, what resonates, what doesn't, throw the rest behind. Yeah, okay. So, you, um, if you've been working on yourself, if you've been trying to heal yourself, if you've been trying to connect with uh, your higher source, if you've been on a spiritual journey here, you're done. You're good. Like for now, at this level in life, it's not like that's it. You don't ever, ever have to do that again. No, you will at some point. It's just always different levels. It feels like you've come through a very big level here, that you've gone through a very large transitional change in your life, a very big one. If you haven't changed your life physically around you yet, I think that that's going to start happening because so much about you inside has changed up to this point. And it's impossible for your world around you not to change now. And I feel like it's going to be changing in really good ways. Um, you have been working towards almost uh, like harnessing your own energy within to go to a much better place, to go to a better place than where you've been before you've learned to love yourself a lot. You've really learned to love and nurture yourself. 
to the point where you are ready to actually share this with someone. See, that's the key, isn't it? You can't share that with someone if you don't have it to share yet, if it's just not there yet, if it's not developed, if it's if you still got some sort of pain from the past. You know, it's, it's interesting that we got the two threes. I almost want to say, like, prior to this, it might have been something like the Three of Swords, but you've managed to heal that into something that is a much more expansive energy that there's growth and possibility here now where there used to be pain so it's good it's really good so you release like it's kind of like the seventh chakra and the frog are telling you what it's time to release and why because you've done this work you've gone to a better place emotionally mentally you have really learned to love who you are for who you are not who you thought you were or who you are to other people but you look at yourself and you're like, wow, I do have, I do have a lot here. I do have a lot here to offer. I'm a great person. I get it. I'm just getting that. Like this beautiful with this mother of cups. And when you do have that, it's hard not to share it. And that's where this energy is taking you is to share it. So with the vulture in the fourth chakra, the vulture is clearing out any last bits and pieces of energy that might be clinging to you from the past with the fourth chakra because you're going to be asked to open up your heart chakra and I want I want to kind of say that the vultures here is a reminder it's okay it's safe to do that if little things kind of bubble up or at some point you maybe feel a little bit defensive or like maybe you want to close out you're not this is going too fast or it's okay it's okay it's all gonna work like you have this vulture this very supportive vulture energy there the universe making sure that past doesn't affect future and present present and future because it can right like it can like because we learn through life so if this is the experience i've always had in relationships then you might anticipate it to happen here but i think because you've done the work you've cleared most of that there might be a little bit that hangs on but the vulture is here to say that it's okay. And with the Sun of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Three of Pentacles, you're ready to go into the unknown. Yeah, you're really ready to go into the unknown. And you're really ready to, to work together, to share, your, to share your energy. Where your energy was possibly seen by others it was a beautiful thing others noted something in you saw something in you but you weren't ready to share that right because you didn't see it fully and you didn't love it as much as you should have but now you do oh, well now you do well you're going to you're going to it's the receive and you do and you start sharing it the energy starts coming out and it moves around it creates new things it doesn't so much look at the mountain as an obstacle, but it looks at the mountain as a challenge and something to climb and something to explore. Yeah. And this is a read the butterfly there is it's a rebirth. But the first chakra, I feel also that there's a lot of passion and desire that's fueling this also. It's, it's kind of nice to have the first and the fourth chakra and the seventh. I mean, we've got from start to beginning and right in the middle, which is brilliant. It's brilliant, really. The Mother of Wands, too. It just tells me that there is a lot of expression here, creativity, passion, desire. It's nurturing. It's, it's funny how, you know, she's got her eggs protected. It's a very nurturing energy. It may even be like you and someone else. I feel like you're definitely coming up as this Mother of Cups. This Maybe this um, Mother of Wands is the energy that you're moving towards. So the, the Mother of Cups, I feel like you're taking on like either a, a Piscean, a Cancer, or a Scorpio energy. And with the Mother of Wands, you may be going to connect with someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Sagittarius has been very strong with the snake for me lately. And it is a very, you know, it's kind of funny that she's got the eggs because it almost makes me feel like the, um, like the mother of pentacles. 
that is usually noted as that nurturing motherly energy so this feels like almost a combination the way she's guarding and protecting the eggs that this is a very passionate desirable sexy dynamic um energy but it is also very nurturing very very nurturing and protective oh i put her in front of the butterfly i'm just going to pull out a few clarifiers it's just like going so quick and easy Look at that. Oh, wow. That's good. You know what? If it's quick and easy, then YouTube doesn't won't put so many ads in. I had to go in and start deleting. I don't know what's going on with them. Like, it's really crazy. I never had to do that before. I just kind of left it up to them. But now I've had to go into the background of my video and figure out how to do that and make a point. Like, remember to do it. So, yeah. Oh, I just remembered something else I have to do. I didn't do that yet. I uploaded videos, but I didn't put the titles in because I upload really early in the morning now. And then I have to remember to go back and do that. If those come out tomorrow, so see that, there won't be any titles. Well, it's just going to say like Scorpio dot dot dot. That'd be interesting to see who comes to watch that. Scorpio dot dot dot. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, three of I'm gonna do three of wands. I'm gonna do the three of wands. It's just it's so clear. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting better at this. I don't need to do it. Oh yeah, look. The five of swords and the eight of wands. So you're walking away from the past and you're moving quickly towards the future. <laughs> yeah, the three of wands. It's about growth and expansion now. The five of swords is about, you know, a need for change. Fives are about a need for change. The the swords here is that there was a need for change in communication or possibly relationships too that you were involved in some stuff needed to you needed to walk away from stuff it just wasn't good it wasn't for your higher good it wasn't for their higher good you've done that and now you're moving forward the moon let's see what some of that unknown is if we can get some of that the moon the unknown for aquarius what is some of the unknown for aquarius oh okay it's gonna take time <laughs> Tom prince Patience. I think you've been very patient, to be honest. If you've done this kind of work, there's patience involved with that for sure. Oh, the unknown here. Wow, the unknown. You may not expect this. This might be something coming towards you. It could be reversed. It could be you coming towards someone else. Perhaps you're the mother of wands and they're the mother of cups. The King of Wands is playing out here. The King of Wands has come out and he's sitting be between the Six of Swords and this Ace of Cups for the unknown. Moving towards, um, again, it's a better situation between you and someone else. If the King of Wands is, compa is um, compatible with the, uh, the Queen of Wands and it's a new beginning, it's overflowing of emotions and feelings here. Because the fourth chakra has been opened up. Wow. What can you expect when you feel this fourth chakra open up? What can Aquarius expect when they feel the fourth chakra open up? Going from the nine of swords to the nine of cups. Of course. So going from a point where, you know, you're kept up at night. There's a lot of uh, pain in your thinking pain and what's in your mind like just should I have done this maybe I should do that maybe I should have done this instead of that like or what what about this or maybe this isn't going to happen or maybe that, just happy and grounded and fulfilled with the nine of cups like really like taping taking a leap almost like taking a leap here someone's going to take a leap towards you or you're going to take a leap towards them whoever takes the leap maybe you both take a leap but it opens up your heart chakra and it, it looks like balance here. The Sun of Pentacles can sometimes be a little bit um, of a lone rogue. He has the one pentacle up in this crescent moon. Kind of speaks to me um, that it is almost as if it's an Ace of Pentacles. Like it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning in your life. Maybe where you live or work. Your territory somehow. I feel that with the Sun of Pentacles. It's like your territory. 
It's a new beginning in your territory. Maybe it's a territory you've never been in before. So that's a possibility. It's a territory you've never gone to because we do have the moon. So it's an unknown territory that you're exploring. And the Seven of Pentacles can sometimes be a little bit on the aggressive side, right? Because you're going into a territory that you're not familiar with. You don't know who else is in there. Let's see what advice you can get me for the Son of Pentacles. The Son of Pentacles. Well, the Page of Swords. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Watch. Learn. <laughs> Listen. I think any information you need about this situation will come to you. You just have to keep your ears and eyes open and you will get the information that you need. What kind of energy is this vulture here to help prevent from coming into this new beginning? What energy is this vulture here to help you with? So the energy that the vulture is here to help you with is the justice card in the three of cups. So the vulture is almost here to make sure that this is a balanced beginning. This is fun. This is happy. If there's been overthinking on your part with this, with this, per it feels like a person. And I'm saying that because of the queen, the mother of cups and wands. It just feels like two different people here in the, in the story. If that doesn't resonate for you, it's definitely like coming into a full energetic balance for yourself. Either way it is. Either way it's a full energetic balance for yourself from the first chakra all the way to the top. Butterfly. The butterfly. Let's clarify the butterfly. Oh, look at you. My gosh. You've really done, you've done the work. You've done all the work. The Two of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Emperor. <laughs> That's a butterfly. This is the rebirth here. So you have been at the crossroads. You've been at the crossroads. You weren't sure which way to go. You wanted to move forward. It was difficult. The Ten of Wands was likely what was sitting in the way of moving forward, which is the burdens. All the burdens that you had from past experiences, um, relationships, situations in your life. And the, the, re, the rebirth here with the butterfly is becoming the emperor, becoming an, um, taking ownership of your life, being a leader in your life, taking your life where you want to take it. It's funny how much this emperor has been coming out. I think that's something people really need to do. They really need to take ownership of their life and take it where they want to take it. Because if other people are taking your life where they want it to go, that's not for their higher good. And it's certainly not for yours. And aren't we all here to try to do that? Doesn't, isn't that what makes the world a better place? Absolutely. I don't know what's left. <laughs> it went so fast. Oh, well. I don't know. It's quick. It's to the point. So get ready for love. There you go. Okay, open up that heart chakra. The Hierophant is at the bottom. Taurus energy. Deeper spiritual commitment to your commitment to yourself and others. Well, it flew off. It flew off to show me the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that was freaky the way that happened. It just flew right off there. So this is a very stable. This is leading to a stable beginning for you. The beginning is leading to a stable finale. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. I've been inside a lot. Okay. <laughs> but I get to go to Home Depot soon to pick up my stuff. Yeah, you didn't hear that story. Anyways, who did I tell that to? Scorpio? I can't keep track of who I talked to. <laughs> I, can't keep, I thought I could just go to the Home Depot. I was all ready a couple days ago. I my hand sanitizer, my mask. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get a whole bunch of garden supplies. I need a wheelbarrow. I need a shovel. I need this. I need that. Yeah, and of course you can't do that. But I didn't know. I'm at the house all the time. I'm like, it's an essential service, right? So they're open. I heard they were open, but no. So I just had to come back home and order everything on the computer. And then they would email me when it was ready. And it's ready. I have seven days to get there. Yeah. So it's my funny story is... I had to get something that I call a three-prong diggy diggy. <laughs> I don't know, it's what I call it. Because <laughs> it's got three prongs and I diggy diggy with it. <laughs> so that's what I always called it, my three-prong diggy diggy. I need one of those. 
But you know, you can't search that on the website because there's no such thing as <laughs> three pronged ding ding. So that was a lesson in trying to understand the technical terms for things that I, I use every day. Like, this is a tool, I don't care, I just use it. And then I put it away. So it's actually called a hand cultivator. I needed one with a longer handle, I want like, like, like that. So it's a hand cultivator. If you have to go online and order something from Home Depot for gardening and you need one, it's not a three prong diggy diggy. <laughs> so I should put my stories at the end. So if you don't wanna hear them, you don't have to. Maybe I'll start doing that. That's probably good, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> So there you go, Aquarius. I really like that reading. And um, yeah, I like this short and sweet. It's kind of fun. So until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.